What's up with it, crew? Boy KG. Back up in this mother another video. What's good, man? Hope everybody doing all right. Hope everybody doing well. Hope everybody chasing their motherfucking dreams. And if you ain't chasing them, what the? You waiting on Yeah, man. It's been a minute, been a minute, been a minute. Y'all already know the routine, man. What been in grind mode, trying to run the legal checkup. Uh, just trying to get it together, man. Uh, y'all already know, man. I don't, I told y'all probably my last video, video before that, that I was just going to start doing everyday vlogs. And uh, the only reason why I come, I ain't. Because your boy is uh, MrBoardMan.com. Like, I really don't mind. I don't really get out here and run the streets and, and, you know what I'm saying, do a whole lot. Of, I don't really fool with a whole lot of people, so I don't really get out there and mingle like that right there. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to bring y'all some when I can, man. Uh, y'all already know how it is. Slow motion better than no motion. You know what I'm saying? So, we on slow grind right now. And it's going to get better. You know what I'm saying? It'll get better. It'll get better. To all my... Uh, Crew members, man, I appreciate y'all more than y'all ever know, man. I told y'all that. I tell y'all that all the time. I said what I mean, and I mean what I say. You know what I mean? Uh, I really appreciate y'all. Like, real talk, for any of y'all to take one, two, three, ten, fifteen 10, 15 minutes out y'all day to watch a little old bit of me, uh, it don't go unnoticed. You know what I'm saying? And all the ones that drop the hearts and the thumbs up and, uh, and the comments, you know what I'm saying? I, I appreciate that, man. I wish more of y'all would comment on that. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, Y'all know me, I do shout out time. You know what I'm saying? If you want to hear your name called out, all you gotta do is, hey, drop down in the comments and say something to you, boy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hey, good, bad, in between. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I respect it all. You know what I mean? And uh, that's just what we on. But uh, yeah, we still trying to, uh, still trying to get a little daddy together, man. I don't know what's going on. This over here, y'all. I think I got a, a badass vacuum leak somewhere. I can't find. I went and got me a, uh, a uh, vacuum gauge to see could I find it. And I kind of tuned it and it's running better. But it's like when I get out there to, to get on it, I got a va I, it's a vacuum leak somewhere, man. I found me a little shop up the street, but y'all know how I feel about these shops, man. It's kind of like a uh, I don't know, man. I, I got I got real bad trust issues now. You know what I'm saying? And uh, with that being said, it's like it's hard for me to trust somebody, man, because uh, I'm tired of getting shitted on by everybody. Uh, and you know me, I just eat it, chalk it up as a loss or whatever you want to call it, and I'm just tired of chalking them losses up. You know what I'm saying? So it's to the point now, if I take a loss, you finna take one too. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I want to really get out here and enjoy my baby, man. I ain't enjoy the... And damn near two years, y'all. And damn near two years, man. I ain't got to enjoy my baby not one time, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I got too much money tied up in it just for it to sit in the garage and, and you know what I'm saying, just look good. That's just, that's stupid as hell, you ask me. Uh, but I'm still looking. Eventually, I will find somebody that can... Uh, that can take care of it, you know what I'm saying? I, I hope I hope so anyway. Like I said, little dude that I went and talked to, him and his dad, uh, he talk a good game, but me, it's like if you sound too confident, then I'm, I'm kind of like skeptical on that part right there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know, man. Like I said, and he, he may be that good. Don't get me wrong, y'all. He may be that good, but my trust issues is, is like here to like nothing I, I trust nobody you know what i'm saying so because i've been fucked over so much you know what i'm saying and, and y'all y'all seen it y'all been along this road with me man y'all seen how i got fucked over and, and and people taking your kindness for weakness and all that kind of stuff right there man but uh you know eventually we're gonna get it together man uh even if i have to go with ls you know what i'm saying uh if i gotta start all over and drop me ls off in this joke man it is what it is uh because so many people leaning towards LSs and getting away from, you know, the conventional to where it's like you kind of stuck between a, a rock and a hard spot. You know what I'm saying? I like the conventional because I can get out here and tinker with it myself. LS, I don't know a whole lot about it, but I've been doing a whole lot of research on it. And I feel like it's something I can do myself. But it's like I got all this money tied up in this right here. Why I want to spend another Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars 
only song that I got right here that's pretty much ready. Just got little bitty kinks and dinks that needs to be worked out. Eventually, I want to go with MSD, uh, distributor, all that right there. I was going to go to EFI, but then the people, I, I've seen some good reviews, I've seen some bad reviews. So, kind of up in the air about that right there. Y'all drop down in the comments, tell me what y'all think. EFI, Holly, or Elder Brock. You know what I'm saying? But the MSD, I'm definitely going with that right there. The MSD is going in here, period. Uh, the points and the plugs and all that, that's going to be MSD. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to do that right there. But that ain't what I brought y'all here for today, man. What I brought y'all here today for is, oh, man. And I really don't even feel like getting started. See, that's why I told y'all, man. I know me, once I get something, it don't be good enough and, then it's like, all right, we got to go on all in. So we finna get out here and start working on brown sugar. We finna redo everything in here. We finna change out the front doors. We finna add another amp. Right now I got the little bit of marine uh Scar 1500. It sound good, y'all don't even know. It sound good. Um, but what we finna do is we finna build us an amp rack back here. If y'all go back and watch my, it, it was a long video, it was probably three or four years ago. So uh, I dropped my um, one with the Ram 1500. Yeah, I'm going with pretty much the exact same setup on it. I got my Focal, Focal channel amp. Joke right here, some serious. You know about Vo, uh, Focal, then you know. Uh, we got the Hyphonics uh, 2400, Super Class D. Got my uh, 50 feet of 12 gauge wire. Got my electrical kit. Uh, what I'm waiting on now, y'all see I got all my zero gauge that came out of it. So what I'm waiting on now is I'm waiting on uh, my battery, six by nines, my dash speakers, and what else? My terminals. And I wanna say, I wanna say that's it. I wanna say that's it. That's all we really waiting on. Uh, Y'all see, I got everything laid out already. This right here is for the big three upgrade and everything while I'm doing it. You know what I'm saying? I also got a um, go ahead and show y'all. I also got a um, a AMG battery to run the truck itself. It should be here. I want to, it might be here today, either today or tomorrow. Y'all go. She's still sitting down looking lonely. 10k giveaway. What's y'all waiting on? real all you gotta do is click that subscribe button turn on the post notifications join the crew um because this right here is mopar battery it's good uh it's not an agm so i'm gonna go ahead and put me an agm up here do my big three upgrade and now all that right there um what else yeah that's what we're gonna do with that right there and another thing while i'm back here show y'all how it's going to be a mini series, y'all. It ain't going to be no one video because it's going to take me a while because I literally, I got to take this whole damn truck apart. And I'm going to show y'all how. <laughs> Come on, you mother. All right. So what I'm going to do is how I'm going to do it is I'm going to take all this right here apart, right? I'm going to take all this right here loose. And I got some quarter-inch plywood right over here. That I'm going to use as an amp rack. Now, how I'm going to do that? Let me explain this to y'all how I'm going to do it, right? So, thing of it is, I got to take all seats, I got to take speakers, I got to take everything out. I'm going to take this right here and I'm going to lay it on my, um, on my board in there, right? And all my little cutouts, all this right here, all this right here, all everywhere that's got a whole cutout in it, I'm just gonna take my marker, cause I'm gonna eventually paint the wood, but I'm gonna mark out each hole, everything, everything, my latches, everything, everything gonna get, everywhere has got a hole that, in this right here, I'ma mark it on my board and I'ma cut it out, right? I already got dimensions going side, I already got dimensions going top. Um, and then I'm gonna use these right here, and I'm gonna use these push pins to hold it in place. 
So I really ain't got to do no drilling going through my sidewall. Now, the only part y'all can't see is the motor for the, um, for my window, which all I got to do is measure how it is from over there to over here, over here to over there, and down and up, and pretty much cut that out. It ain't got to be perfect, but it's going to be, you know what I'm saying? And once I get all that cut out, then I can go in there and see how I'm going to set my amp rack up. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's what we're going to do on that right there. But like I said, I got to take these pillars here off. I don't think I got to take the top ones off. I know I got to take these off. Got to take all this right here loose. I don't think I got to undo my seatbelt. No, I ain't got to do that. Got to take all the doors loose. All the panels loose. I got to I gotta pretty much strip it all the way down. I got to take the, um, the radio got to take it back out so I can run my RCAs for my front speakers and my back speakers. Uh, then I got to run. Uh, do I want to tie in? I got two options with that right there. I got to find the factory amp, which I think, if I'm mistaken, it should be up under here. Uh, I don't know if it's up under there or not. I can't really. Y'all work with me. Hold on real quick, y'all. No, I don't think it's up under there. I don't see it. Well, yes, I do. Yes, I do. My amp rack is right up uh, in here. And what I got to do is I got to find my speaker wires and tie off into them. And I got to run speaker wires all the way through. Well, I got two options, honestly. I could just rerun some more speaker wire from here just all the way back and just use my RCAs from the deck. Uh, maybe easier to bypass the amp, but if I ever want to take it out and sell the truck and all that stuff right there, I ain't got to go back going back through tying it back in. You see what I'm saying? So I'll make that decision of when I get to that part there because all I really got to do is run it here, run through the grommet, come back down. And the same thing with the back. It ain't that hard. You know what I'm saying? Uh, speaker wire coming in right through here find a way to get it through here first of all and um i don't know i might end up just bypassing give me some um quick disconnect speaker wire to tie into the factory amp bypass it at the same time but if i ever want to go back it's just a, a quick disconnect you know what i'm saying so i don't know that's that's gonna be the part i gotta determine when i um when I get to that right there, because the first part is going to be breaking this joker down, which that's probably that's probably going to be a day's worth of work, which I may not do all of that right there at one time. What I may do is um, take these back seats out, take my music out, get this part right here out the way first, because I can design this right here, get it mocked up and all this stuff right there, test fit it and all that. To see where that go. That's the hardest part there. That's the hardest part. The running the wires and all that shit right there. That's the that's the easy part. Um, putting the six by nines in the doors and all that. That's the easy part. Um, the only really hard part is figuring out how I want to do the four channel amp. Uh, the sub amp is already hooked up. So basically all I got to do is just take my RCAs from out that amp right there. And continue to run them on back here or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? So that, that right there, that's the easy part there. Uh, I just got to see how I want to uh, how I want to run everything, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's mainly what it is with this right here. That's why I got to take every damn thing loose. That's why I got to take everything apart. Uh, look at the factory amp. Look at the factory uh, diagram as far as the speakers and all that kind of stuff right there. Um, and like I said, a big three upgrade, that ain't Run your bigger power wire from here to your charger on the starter. Run your bigger ground from here to your uh, alternator. And then just run your bigger ground, which honestly, uh, let's see what is your here grounded at. Just find, I might ground it right here on the motor. That's what I might do. What I'm gonna find, actually, I'm gonna run me two grounds. I'm gonna run me two grounds from my battery. I'm gonna run one to the alternate, I'm gonna uh, run one to the block. 
and then I'm gonna run one back there with my sub. And of course, each amp gonna have their own ground too. Um, so yeah, that's what um, that's what we gonna do with that right there, man. Um, so yeah. But if you made this fun video, man, do me a favor, hit that like, share, subscribe, comment, click that bell, turn on notifications, join the crew. Any except for winning 2012 Chrysler 300S. And another thing I was contemplating, I'm listening to y'all in the comments when I asked y'all about the center console, whether I should have painted brown or tan. I went with a tan, but now it's like the tan is kind of overpowering it, but it's the only reason why come I did because if I went with the brown, right? My center, console, well, my center console up here is tan. That's why I kind of went with it. So I'm like, if I go from that to brown back here, I don't think that's going to... I really don't think it's going to tie in too good, y'all, to be honest with you. Now, I may still leave the sub box the color it is. I still may leave that. <clears throat> Excuse me, fat boy just got to eat. I still may leave that like it is. Do this part right here, leave this color like it is, and do that part brown. But then I think that'll look kind of tacky. So, I don't know y'all, I'm just up in the air, but as y'all can see, we got the uh, CT sounds up in here. Y'all, when I tell y'all this mother here, on that little old bit of amp there, if it's doing that on this little old bit of amp here, I can only imagine. I can only, only, only imagine what it's gonna do. When I put it on, uh, let me close this door here. It's like it's gonna, I just gonna get down out here. I can only imagine what it's gonna sound like when I um, put that real monster up on here. That, 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 that big boy, that big boy 2400 Iphonics. I can just imagine how it's gonna sound. So, cause it had them, uh, what, what I had in there? I had some Alpine um, D412s, Alpine Type R. I had some Alpine type bars in there. And um, y'all, when I tell y'all that some bitch was, she was slapping, she was she was doing the thing, man. So, but yeah, that's what, um, that's about all I want to bring y'all on this video right here, man. Uh, Got to get ready to go out here and clock in, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm on call, so really don't feel like going to work, but it is what it is. And like I said, this right here going to be a mini series. It's not going to be, I ain't going to make a, four five six day video in the one video you know what i'm saying because i need to bring y'all some more content i like bringing y'all content on what i'm doing and showing y'all what i can do and all this stuff right there so what up huh oh uh, oh uh, but yeah i just like showing y'all and i'm gonna really show y'all how i can get down with this uh with this music stuff you know what i'm saying uh i can really do my thing so I'm going to take more time with it, design everything out. May do the amp rack out here and just set it back there once I get everything mocked up, cut out, painted, and all of that stuff right there. So that way, when I do get it in there, basically all I got to do is hook up the battery, hook it up to the battery. That's all I got to do. But I can't do that until my battery get here, and I think I ordered it. So it, everything should be coming in the next day or two, you know what I'm saying? But in the meanwhile, like I said, I got to get ready to go to work. I don't want to go because it look like it's gonna get down out here. I ain't got time for this shit, y'all. For real, I ain't got time for it. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? We still gonna get a little data together. I'm gonna bring her. I ain't gave up on it yet. I'm gonna bring her back to life. I'm gonna bring her back to life, y'all. But uh, yeah, that's about it with this right here on the next one, man. Uh, which may be in the morning, tomorrow evening. It may even be tonight when I get off work. You know what I'm saying? If I ain't out too late or whatever, whatever. Uh, we may start the deconstruction on um, on that right there. We're going to get the seats out. We're going to get the boxes out. We're going to get all that shit right there out. Uh, get it out the way. Might set it in the back of the big one. Escalade there. Just so it'll be out the way. Uh, get all that right there. Toe down. I may, because mocking it up my wood, that's going to be the easy part. Uh, and that's going to be the that's gonna be the plan now. We're going to mock up the wood. Get everything cut out on that. So that's probably going to be the next episode there. And once I get that out the way, um, everything else should go pretty smooth. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like I said, I got to tap pretty much the whole interior of the truck out because I want everything nice and neat. Uh, I want to be able to come to some of these shows. People be like, man, what you got back there? I don't mind letting the seat down, showing them, all right, this, this my little setup here. You know what I'm saying? I don't want spaghetti running everywhere and 
all of those crazy stuff there. I don't want all that. So, you know, it's going to be a process and I'm going to take my time with it. And the reason why is because my neighbor over here, he, uh, he been working on his truck probably two weeks now. Taking his time, doing a little bit here, doing a little bit there, doing a little bit here, doing a little bit there. And y'all, his shit came out real nice. And I'm just like, you know what? This ain't a sprint. This is a marathon. So take your time with it. Map it out. Draw it out. Measure four, five times. Cut once. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we're going to be on on this right here. Your boy KG back, man. And, uh, we finna start the show. And uh, if you watch the video, give me that thumbs up, man. Subscribe. Click that bell. Turn on notifications. It's free, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I know I ain't been doing the best at uploading every day. But y'all know, if y'all go back and watch my videos, I don't upload every day. You know what I'm saying? When I feel like I can bring y'all some information, then yeah, I'm going to upload something. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, man, I'm a homebody type guy, man. Uh, streets, been there, done that. Don't care nothing about ripping and running them and all this shit right there. So y'all already know how it go, man. But uh, cause I'm really tired of bringing y'all content from the garage. I'm going to be honest with you. That's just being straight up. So... Anyhow, I don't ran my mouth enough. I just wanted to drop this video here to y'all to let y'all know what was going on. Next one is going to be the deconstruction part. We finna tear it down. We finna rip it apart. We finna start working on it. And, uh, the finished product, I think y'all going to be satisfied with it. Anyhow, it's your boy KG. Checking out from the garage. I'm out, man.